Yeah, round, round structuring, uh, round placement. Jazz was definitely better tonight. When we talk cleanliness. Wow. Next to godliness. That is crazy. That's different. Now that's different. No, <laughs> don't take it personal. Wow. <laughs> but you might want to see that side of me. Every round, I thought it presented a different element with who she was as a battle MC, and I thought she broke clips the fuck down in that third round pretty good. Let's go, Jazz! That's Benji! Look at Benji! <laughs> she got Benji in the building looking like Jesus! Let's go! Let's go, Benji! Clips is a god. Let's just call it for what it is. Legendary. Some might say, you know, Mount Rushmore candidate, all that good shit. He got a way of being very charismatic up there on that stage and being able to captivate the audience by just freestyling alone. Okay, y'all open in three, two, one. Now if you try to do one, I'ma oh do two. God, Whoa. Is and if you try to do three, I'ma do four. Maybe even Whoa. more. That's I go by the name of PR alone. Yeah. I wanna keep this one short. I wanna keep it sweet and I wanna keep it simple. Charlie Clips versus Jazz the Rapper. Could I start by saying this battle was like underwhelming? Could I say that? Did you feel that way? And it's coming off the New Jersey twerk versus, ja uh, uh, pardon, pardon self, just coming off the New Jersey twerk versus coffee battle. Jazz starts to show off, and I felt like the room, like they, like they even, they wasn't even there. Dry. It was super fucking dry. And then going into the battle, I kind of felt like it was going to be that too, with it, with it just being who these two are uh, as MCs up there on that stage. They're going to be very heavy in rhyme you know rhyme schemes they're gonna be a, you know storytelling a lot and it's not gonna be the explosiveness that we got from that last battle so i felt like the energy was definitely that in this battle with jazz being who jazz was she did a hell of a job hell of a job in this first round by by um touching up on a lot of the topics that she was going to talk about but she was very gun bar heavy and i didn't like that part about jazz jazz is very good at breaking her opponents down and she ain't there yet she you know she gun bar rapping it right now i don't want to hear that a lot of people talk jazz being like the murder move version of female battle rap and she didn't really get into really breaking down charlie clips until later in the round how you felt about yeah yeah it's how you felt about her round like her first round or just the first round in general i mean you can talk a little bit about clip shit too because clips I don't know what the fuck he was doing in that first, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, first yeah. wasn't. Like, what the His fuck second was this, really bro. good. Um, I would say, because mm, I like Jazz second too. So I would say second is kind of available because Clip second was good. So if I, I would say two, one to Jazz. I'll give her the first and the third. Ooh, okay. I'm not mad at that. Um, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, because I really didn't care for Clips third either. It's like he had he was some, he was freestyling a yeah, lot. Yeah, he was freestyling too much or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he and depended it, on that heavily in that round to get him over. Like you can I'm, tell, he got outside his content, his original content. He just started doing a bunch of other shit. Yeah, for me, I feel like my style of what I prefer in battle rap yeah. is kind of like storytelling. I mm. want to. You want, I want yeah. to hear the haymakers and make me think like, damn, did that really happen? Yeah, like, I want yeah. to hear some shit like that. And 
if I'm not getting that, it's just a whole bunch of just, you know, all over yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah, clips this. It kind of it kind of has me like, uh, okay, see, I, that's what I'm I can't saying, follow, man. you know. And this is where clips get in trouble because So, that's you know, yeah, I, that's man. why I would give Jazz two ones. So I say his second round was more it was a little bit more structured. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, that is what made it like, okay, Scheme. I can follow, it's cool. He's scheming inside of a scheme. It's levels, dog. You know, but Jazz still, um, I feel I feel like one, two, one. Yeah, round, round structuring, uh, round placement. Jazz was definitely better tonight. When we talk cleanliness. Wow. Next to godliness. That is crazy. That's different. Now that's different. No, <laughs> don't take it personal. Wow, <laughs> but you might want to see that side of me. Clips is a god. Let's just call it for what it is. Legendary. Some might say, you know, Mount Rushmore candidate. All that good shit. He got a way of being very charismatic up there on that stage and being able to captivate the audience by just freestyling alone and just being really like in his element, controlling the room, controlling the crowd. Like, he was doing absolutely all of that in this battle, especially, wow. especially in that third round. I'm trying to call out <laughs> she did in her phone ringing. <laughs> this guy right here, Clips, bruh. That was fire. Yep, that's a fact. Fuck them all, Clips, real talk. In the second round, I, I, I must say, I love the combative argument that he gave or presented to the, to the people. Jazz in that second round talked a lot about his pops. And I don't know how many people are going to continue to talk about that fucking angle. But I just felt like, like the shit is just like driven so much into the ground. Like why are we still even... T Clips is notoriously saying... And uh, damn, what battle was that? Where he said his mom was the gangster in his family. Uh, Versus T-Rex. His mom was the gangster in his family. He didn't fuck with his... So it's just like... For people to still have that argument with him and then for him to combat that argument in that second round to me was just stellar. And then he fought through a lot of bullshit that the crowd presented to him tonight. Like he had to really fight. Yeah. That first round, they was trying to boo the boy out, out gate. Like it was really like that. Like they wasn't catching on to none of the bars. Like it was, it felt weird. It was really weird. Um, I, I do love the energy and, and um, the tempo that Jazz set to start the battle though. Jazz won no clear to me. Clips is just, he pretty much just gave up that round. Like he didn't really give a fuck about it because the crowd wasn't fucking with him. But I do love the fact that he, he continued to fight and this showed throughout his performance throughout the battle. Second round come, like I said, Clips. I thought Clips got busy this round with him like having to fight and gain that respect from the people in the crowd. Like he really moved the crowd in that second. Like they weren't even trying to give it to him and it's like they had to. And that was how, that's how it was like presented. So it was, it was just crazy. This battle was just, it was just way too funky to me. Third round, I will say Clips fans is going to love um, what he was able to do in terms of just like freestyle, like really, and go a bit longer in his round like his round was very extended because obviously he knew he was down in the fight so he kind of like extended a lot of his bars and they were random like it was just a lot of random shit but like B saying in terms of you know structuring um the way her, her rounds were placed in this battle the way she was able to stay connected to the angles and get outside of those you know those certain elements every round I thought it presented a different element with who she was as a battle MC, and I thought she broke clips the fuck down in that third Let's round. Go! Pretty good. She got low, she got low right now. Let's go, Jazz! That's Veggie! Look at Veggie! <laughs> she got Veggie in the building looking like Jesus! Let's go! Let's go, Veggie! So again, man, I mean it, it's it's gonna speak for itself, Jazz. It's definitely going to win the fan vote over and win majority of the vote here, man, with just being way more cleaner in this battle. And that's all I got to say about these joints. <laughs> he got saddles on too? <laughs> Nigga Benji came out to cooked up Charlie, bruh. Queen B with me. Battle rap fanatic. If you try to do one, I'm going to do two. Try to do three, I'm going to do four, maybe even more. I go by PLLO. Y'all follow me on some of the social medias, the Twitters, the Instagrams. Talk to me on there, please. I talk back. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Comment down below and share this video worldwide. Because that's the only way we're going to grow. We're about to start this Tay Rock battle. <laughs> Let's get it. I got to go. I ride from the road with a G. The name Polo, I know you heard about me. I'm a walking name. I'm just trying to win. She's like a nigga swag.